welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my 50 Shades of Green update for you. There's not a lot of um, updates left before the finale on April 15th. I know it's only January, but um, when you're talking about 50 products, um, yeah, we're definitely in the home stretch on this one. Um, I am very happy to say I have a lot of empties to show you and a bunch of them were in my December empties and uh, we're going to go through them so that I can finally recycle everything and uh, get it out of my house. So in case you're not familiar with this project, it started with 50 Shades of Pink. Um, then for the following year, we did a poll within the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. Um, what color we wanted to do next, that was purple. Now we're doing green. We have a new color coming up on April 15th. And um, we do not announce that outside of the group until the um, actual intro starts, which is going to be on April 15th. I know a lot of you guys have asked, and um, as much as I would love to tell you guys, um, it's kind of one of those rules that we have within the group that um, until a project starts, we keep all the rules in-house and all of the details of it in-house. And then once the intro is out, then, you know, it is open to everyone. So yeah, it um, originally started between a conversation between myself, Amanda, and Cece. I'm going to have those beautiful ladies listed down below. There's going to be a spreadsheet with everyone that has joined in, whether they're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, wherever they are, um, they're going to be listed down below. And um, yeah, so let's get into this. I have tons of empties, like I said, and um, I'm just going to start grabbing them because... Uh, you know, this is one that you did not see for um, the December empties. This is the Ion Inspired by Nature. It is an after color care treatment. It was interesting. Um, it did make my hair feel nice, but it stunk. <laughs> it, um, if you've ever been around like really strong smelling um, hair coloring or perm solution or whatever, um, it was very strong like that potent. And... Um, <laughs> I only use Demi Permanent on my hair, which is a deposit only, so it's not a strong smell. So I've kind of gotten out of the habit of having a very strong smell. And that one, that one was potent. So um, I probably wouldn't use it again because using a deposit only hair color, um, it doesn't last as long, but it also doesn't damage your hair, which that's a good thing. And... Um, yeah, I just, I don't feel like I need it. That was actually sent to me in PR and I was happy to um, be able to use it. I just don't need that in my, my normal routine. All right, now on to the rest of the empties. Um, I have a couple from Exuviance here. This is the Night Corrector. It's kind of beat up looking. The label is coming off because I just, I used it a ton. Um, it is basically um, a hydrogel moisturizer, nighttime moisturizer for people with oily or acne prone skin. I absolutely love this. I would repurchase this again in a heartbeat. Um, it retails for $52. At least it, it did when I got it. And I just, I love it. There's not a lot that my skin absolutely loves. And this is one of them. I, I wish I could repurchase it right now, but I have too many other things to get through. Just absolutely love it. If you are oily or acne prone, I highly recommend Exuviance Night Corrector. It is wonderful. Another wonderful Exuviance product. I just, I like most of their products, not all, but most. Um, this is the Deep Clean AHA Cleanser. It's super foamy. I just, I really enjoyed it. My skin felt clean without like that tight squeaky kind of clean, just like normal clean. Um, I really liked it. And the product in this, like the actual gel in here was green. Um, all right, moving on to another face product. This was the... Bloom Simply Good Rosemary Infusion Facial Soap. It was okay. It was fine milled. Um, I want to say I got that at a hotel many moons ago. It's not something you can really purchase anywhere. So, you know, I'm not going to go seek it out. But it was nice. Um, next is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I love this. This is Holy Grail status for me. I always have to smell it because it smells so good. Um, I think I have another one in my collection. I'm not sure. I'm working on something else right now, but um, yeah, I really like it. And if I'm out, I will be repurchasing that one. That's just something I have to have in my collection. It's, it's just that good for my hair. I like it. It may not be for everyone. It is not for someone that has really fine hair. It will weigh your hair down, but if you have super dry hair like I have, um, 
yeah, that's some good stuff. Next is the Soapbox Tea Tree Conditioner. I do like this one, but I wish it was a little more, a little more slip, a little more moisturizing. Um, it is really nice, and I do like the shampoo uh, that I'm currently working on, but um, I don't know if I would repurchase the conditioner. I do have the mask. I haven't used it yet. Um, I have a feeling the mask is going to be what I wish this conditioner was. So we'll find out when um, I start using that mask. I think I just brought that into um, Deck of Panning, so I will let you know how that goes. All right, um, more hair care, because, you know, I go through a lot of hair care. Um, this one, the product inside was actually green. Um, this is the Nature Lab Perfect Repair Leave-In Treatment. Um, it was nice. It kind of reminded me of a mousse because when you pumped it, this has like a foamer spout on it. It was interesting. I don't know if it really worked super well as a leave-in, but it was interesting to try. It kind of felt like mousse on your hair. So I, I put this in right before I put my stylers in and yeah, I liked it. Just not like, oh my God, I have to have that. So, you know, it was, it was nice to try it. Um, next up is the Andrea, 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 I don't know how they pronounce this. It is the Anti-Stress Bath Soak Herbal and Vitamin E. I did like it. It was um, it was purple in my bathtub, which I was not expecting. I don't know why I shouldn't. I hear sirens out there. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was just one of those luxury things. And let's see, the last empty that I have, this is the Skin, skin Fix. Wow, Jessica. Um, resurface AHA Renewing Cream. I really like this one. It was pretty much unscented. Yeah, it, it kind of had like, I don't want to say it was a chemical smell, but um, can you hear all those sirens? I live not too far away from a fire department. So yeah, there's sirens out there. They're probably like three miles away, but I can hear them pretty loud. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera or not. Um, I really did like this. I would absolutely repurchase this one. Um, I am working on the scrub that goes with that. It is basically, if you have KP, um, it is, it's really nice. It's, it does not irritate your skin. I know some scrubs and some creams will irritate your skin. They do the job, but sometimes they feel a little irritating. This, it was absolutely lovely. I enjoyed that one a whole lot. All right, so those were my empties. I have a lot of empties. I am now up to 32 empties out of 50 in this project. I feel like I'm doing pretty darn good considering we have, what, three months left? February, March, April. Yep, three months. And um, I don't know that I'm going to finish everything. I probably won't finish everything, but um, I, I know I'm going to finish at least a few more in the next three months. So let me show you ones that I absolutely have progress on and I will do... Um, like the video overlay like I've been doing. People seem to like that where I can show a, a good close-up of the product and, um, you know, we'll go from there. So the first one is another Exuviance product. This is also for oily, acne-prone skin. And in case you're not familiar with Exuviance, they are, it's a skincare company that is really designed for um, like anti-aging stuff. And it is really hard for, um, I don't want to say mature skin. That makes me sound like really old and I don't feel like I'm really old. I mean, I'm old, but I'm not old, old. You know what I'm saying? But like mature skin with anti-aging and for oily and or acne prone skin, it's like almost unheard of. And Exuviance does carry that. They carry something for everyone. And I, I think that's why I like and appreciate them so much because my skin at my age is, is not normal. At my age, you don't normally get breakouts or have oily skin. You start to have dry skin, and I just don't have that. So that's why I like Exuviance. Um, this is the Daily Acne Peel. It's basically a toner that is um, gently chemically exfoliating. I love it. Love it. Um, as you can see, I'm making very good progress. And um, I might have this done by the next update, but if not, it's going to be the one after. Um, I'm making good progress on it. Um, I probably would have been done it already, except I was working on an, like an actual peel, like a weekly peel that, that really peels your face from Exuviance. So I was 
um, only using that like mm, two to three times a week while I was working on those other peels. So, you know, things went a little bit slower. Next up is the Redken Outshine. It is, it's basically a hair smoother if you get frizzies and stuff like that. I've had this for a while. I am definitely making good progress from the top line to the bottom line. Definitely going to be done by the next update and, you know, I don't have to worry about that at all. All right, the Shower to Shower Deodorant Body Powder. Um, I'm making good progress on it. It is one of those that I inherited. It is not something that I purchased and it's going to be done by the next update. I am down at the very bottom line there and yeah, it's, it's getting more and more narrow. It's going to be gone by the next update. Another one that will be gone by the next update is this lotion bar. If I can get it out of here, there is so little left of this. I don't think it's going to make it out of the month of January, if I'm being completely honest with you. I use it a lot this time of year, and um, I need to be using it right now because my knuckles are starting to split because I am extremely dry everywhere except for my face, which... You know, like my face needs to share the wealth. I, I have to put lotions and moisturizers everywhere in order to um, not have my skin crack and peel and itch. And she's going to be gone real quick. The very last thing. Nope, I've got two things. See, I almost tried to lie to you, but I caught myself. I have this blush from Clinique. It is very old. Very, very old. It is called Full Bloom. And, um... I will have the overlay of where I am with that. I am definitely making good progress on this. It has a dip, but I am noticing because it is so old that it is starting to crack on the edges, which you'll see in the overlay. And um, I'm trying to save those little pieces and use them, but it just doesn't look pretty. So <laughs> every time a little piece crumbles and one just fell off on my desk while I'm speaking to you, um, you know, I just, I put it, I have these little tiny glass um, bowls, like tiny, tiny glass bowls, and I keep it in there and I crush it up and I just use it that way. But um, sometimes if it lands in a place that is not exactly sanitary, then, you know, it's got to go. But I don't know that I can finish this in three months. Even with it cracking and stuff like that, where it's trying to pan itself, I just don't think that that is going to happen in the next three months. Quite frankly, even though my goal was to finish it, if I hit pan on it, I'm going to call it good and I'm going to be happy with that. Um, was that the last thing? Nope. I have this right here. It is the Mali Eyeliner and I believe it's in the color Midnight. Yes. And um, I have sharpened it once since the last update. I will show you on my piece of paper, my progress lines, but... Yeah, it's going to take a while. I don't think this is going to be done by the finale. I do like it. It is still creamy enough, but I use the tiniest little bit of eyeliner. I just do basically from the middle of my um, lash line to about, I don't know, not quite to the end because I have hooded and downturned eyes. Um, I stop just short of the end of my eye and do like a slight flick up, tiny, tiny. And then I set it with eyeshadows because... Um, I have to. I have to set my liners with eyeshadow. So I don't use very much every time. And I really don't do my waterline or my tight line anymore. Just one, I don't have time. And sometimes it just irritates my eyes and my eyes get blurry. And ain't nobody got time for that. So I just, I use so very little of it. And um, I just don't think it's going to be done. Bottom line, she's not going to be done by the finale. So um, I definitely think I'm going to have... One, two, three empties for the next update minimum. There may be some others. I don't know. We'll have to see what I feel like playing with or what I can fit into my schedule. But I know there's going to be three at minimum. And we'll see if I can get more. Um, if I can get those three, it's going to put me at 35. Really good percentage for this project. So if I finish nothing else but those other three, I'm going to be very satisfied with how this one ends. But we're going to, we're going to do better than that. We are. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Definitely check out everyone else that has joined in. Be on the lookout for April 15th. The new color is coming. And I apologize to those of you that want me to um, let you know what the new color is. But I can't until it comes out on the intro. 
And I, I understand if you guys aren't on Facebook, I totally get that. Some people just don't want to um, have that kind of social media. I, I understand and I respect that, but um, the way the rules have been set up, we just, we don't release those kind of um, informations before the start of the project. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.